Hey guys, you know what it's time for? It's time for an adventure. This bike behind me, the Priority 600, has been my daily commuter bike for the past year. I absolutely love this bike. It is bomb proof. It has the Gates carbon belt drive. It has the pinion gearbox. All the gears are nicely enclosed and safe inside this gearbox. It is smooth. I've only had one flat tire in the entire year and barely any mechanical, anything to ever deal with. It just runs. So it got me thinking, I should try this thing out on a little adventure tour. I'm curious to see if this city bike can also be a touring bike. It's probably not as fast as my Trek checkpoint, but it's the low maintenance factor that really excites me. Where is this grand adventure gonna take place, you ask? Well, I've got something really cool in store. We are gonna go, wait, I said we, didn't I? Oh yeah, it's not just me going on this trip. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm bringing back one of my favorite people in the world. We've been on many adventures together. We rode from Boulder to Burning Man. We rode around Cuba. We rode the Cowboy Trail in Nebraska. Ladies and gentlemen, my favorite, your favorite, Dana. We are gonna ride bikes from Grand Junction, Colorado on the western slope of the state to one of my favorite little towns in the world, Moab, Utah. But we're not gonna take the highways. We're gonna take a system of back roads and dirt roads and it is going to be so beautiful. It is called the Tour of the Canyons. And this trip is organized by the San Juan Hut Systems. And it's a really cool organization that has all these huts around the backcountry of Colorado for skiing and hiking and biking. And so we're actually gonna stay in huts as we go, which means we don't need to pack as much stuff because all the food and all the water is taken care of. It's gonna be three days of riding, about 55 miles a day. There's gonna be some up and some down, which will be a good test for the Priority 600 because it has, it's called a 600 because it has a 600% gear range from bottom to top. So we're gonna put that thing to the test as we go up, up, up. And yes, of course, I'm gonna bring this little guy so we're gonna have some beautiful aerials. The desert is my happy place. I love it so much. Dana is one of my favorite people on this entire planet. This adventure is gonna be so beautiful. So why don't you come with us and let's have a good time. What's up, Dana? Ryan! Look what I have. Room Ooh. for one more bike. One more bike right there. You got room for me? And wait, you have a, you have a Priority 600? I have a Priority 600! Dana, I'm really excited to spend the next week with you and ride through nature and have a great time and, you know, just ride bikes. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. Let's jump in and go. Time lapse time. You know, the really funny thing about this is I don't really drive. I have a license now, but I never drive. I hate driving. I'm very uncomfortable with it. And I hate driving. <laughs> I rarely drive. I let everyone else drive but me. And Ryan, <laughs> I'm going to make Ryan drive. That's a bad idea. This smear right here is all bug guts. Ah, we did it! Oh my god! That might be the hardest part of this that trip. That was. I'm sweating. My hand. <laughs> look at my. Look at my hands. Ah. Yeah. Driving is not our thing. Biking is is our thing. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> boom! 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 Here we are, downtown Grand Junction. Dana, we're back on another adventure. How are you feeling? Like it's Christmas morning. <laughs> it is like Christmas. We didn't sleep much last night. No, we were too excited to sleep. And we found this really cool piece of art and we're gonna show this to you. It is so cool. Dana? There are three different things here. You're important, you're strong, and this one gives you inspirational message for the day. So Ryan, are you ready? Yep. Peace begins with you. Hit it again. That was, that was, that was pretty good. Peace begins with you. I like that. I'm Let's feeling peaceful. Hello, beautiful. Ooh. Yes, I've got this with all my essentials, like my rain jacket and stuff. I've got this with like my power bars and my phone and my phone chargers. I added an extra two bottles. And then I've got my badonka donka. This is like three days worth of riding stuff and I'm super 
excited to see how this kind of commuter bike holds up touring. Like, you know, the thing is, we don't have anything to do but ride our bike all day. So we're just gonna get on these amazing maintenance-free machines and take them all the way to Moab. What does DNX mean? Dana and Xantha, true love forever. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it means. Oh, hey Ryan, will you hold my bike? Oh, never mind. I have a kickstand. What? Look at that. Usually when I'm on a bike tour, it's all packed up. I just like lay my bike down or lean it against the wall. Not anymore. Just boom, kick that baby down. My bike stands up. Some of your best days haven't happened yet. Today might be one of them. Yeah! Ooh, I like Today that. is one of them. We're gonna have a great day. And remember, before we start any bike ride, what do we sing? No crashies, no whammies, no flatties. No windies. No wind in our face. Breakies. No breakies. Dana and I actually, when we rode to Burning Man, she broke a collarbone. We had a bad crash. She's broke her collarbone. Broke her collarbone. collarbone. So uh, we promised your wife that won't happen. That's right. We had a no breakies. It's a beautiful day. It's going to be like 80 degrees. Dana, love you. Let's do it. I love you too. Yes. All right. First day. We've got about 55 miles ahead of us. We're going to head away from the metropolis of Grand Junction ah. and into the canyons. And the way it works with these San Juan huts, you follow this really easy to follow map and you get to the huts and it's all stocked with food and life is good. We are out of Grand Junction, heading into some beautiful scenery, the canyons. We've made it, Dana. Yeah. So from here on out, we just got to pedal and smile and enjoy nature. I am really excited to be exploring a part of Colorado that I have never seen before. And this is really cool. I love exploring my, my home state. roadside shrines right here always make me stop and think and pause and send some love to these people who I don't even know but also it's a reminder that roads are dangerous you know even though there's not much traffic on this little road you know things can happen so you have to really be be sharp at all times because you, you never know and even then a total accident could occur but uh on all my rides all over the country, I see these shrines and I always ride by and just send a little love. Here I come. Here we are. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Dana, what's up? Just riding. We're just riding. We've probably gone about 20 miles now, which is the furthest I've ever ridden my Priority 600. Like I said, it's my daily commuter. I ride it around town to get groceries and stuff. I think it's gonna have no problem out here in cowboy country. How's it smell? Very sagey. Whenever I'm in the desert, I take advantage of picking up some sage. One, I love the smell of it. I fell in love with the smell of this when I was on an outward bound course when I was 16. And two, it protects you, so I always take a little piece and put it on the bike. Dana, we're protected now. We are protected. Damn, Dana, we're pretty high. Yeah, Ryan, you know how we got here? Climbing. Like a couple of times I was like, you know, I feel like we're climbing, just climbing. And then we would kind of have what seemed like a downhill, you know, those false flats. But I think we're climbing. Good job. Whatever goes up must go down. 
I'm totally in the middle of nowhere, and look, it's one of those little free libraries. Oh yes, this is the best, The Karate Kid Part 2. I never read the book. I didn't even know there was a book, but the movie was one of my favorites as a kid, for sure. I love these little free libraries. It just shows that people care about their communities, and they want to just hook people up and bring smiles to people. And here we are in the middle of nowhere, totally middle of nowhere. Usually you see free libraries like in cities and urban areas, but here we go. Love it. Imagine living here, the views you would have, you wake up every day to this. to a gate. It's kind of like a treasure hunt. They give you a map to the hut and a key. It's not even locked. <laughs> Welcome! We're home! This is so beautiful! Look at this backdrop we have. There's our home for the night. We are here. And we're actually not the only ones that are going to be in this hut tonight. We have roommates. What's up? Hey, Ryan. What's, what's How are you doing? I'm <laughs> we just met in Gateway. And uh, yeah, they pack eight people in this thing. Yeah. All right, we got it. Oh, yeah, it's just like nice. a Boy Scout <laughs> cabin. Oh, they have lots of beans. That's all I care about. Whoa, is that the beer cooler? Take one out, put one in, it says. Cookies, look at all this food. Milky Way, Snickers. Oh, we could just Good. stay here and get fat. They even have fresh fruits and vegetables. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Since there's a beautiful river right next to our hut, we have to take advantage of this. This might be extremely cold because it is snow melt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little cold, but once you do it, it feels so good. What are we having, Dana? Oh, surprise, surprise. Beans. <laughs> Cheers, Dana. Cheers. Good job today. People ask me all the time if I get sick of beans, and I've never gotten sick of beans. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, 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 oh,